For a free Rukia service, message on this number. There's no catch. The scholar just wants to help people do self Rukia because of all the scams out there. But if you're suffering from cold shoulder, then I'm afraid there's no cure. Assalamu alaikum, guys, and welcome to another episode. Who the hell are you? Of Smile to Jenna. Smile to Jenna. <laughs> Republic World is probably the bottom of the barrel of Indian news reporting and Arnab Goswami, the presenter and his guests are not only clowns but they're the whole circus. Now in this debate you can see some of the Indians attacking the Pakistanis. That of course would seem normal but here the attacks seem more directed towards their religion rather than their nationality. Please for goodness sake brush your teeth. You got right bad there. breath, it stench is overpowering. <coughs> okay, so this one seems directed at the person. So we're starting off with a playground insult. Apparently this is what's classed as newsworthy in India. Yeah, yeah bad yeah, breath, yeah. it's coming all the way from Pakistan to New York, please. In order to comment on someone's breath, you actually have to be near the person. You can't be in a different country. <sighs> Someone explained that to Gramps. I don't think he understands the concept. It might have been before his time. Yeah, bad breath, please, sir. I don't think you should be getting into insults, mate, especially when this is happening in your own community. That men and women actually coat their heads and faces with cow urine. I have been consuming the cow urine for many, many years today. The stench is probably the cow juice that you've smeared over the few follicles of hair you still got left. Oh, oh for God goodness me. sake, you uh -huh. stop using wooden twigs to brush your teeth. Yeah, yeah. We've invented the toothbrush and the toothpaste, oh, you idiots. Now here's where he starts targeting the religion rather than the country because Pakistanis aren't really known for using the miswak or the tooth stick. But as Muslims, we believe that all of the prophets used to use the miswak. In fact, some have numerated to up to 99 benefits of this organic toothbrush. And considering the amount of chemicals and additives that they put in toothpaste, I suggest invest in decent toothpaste and use the miswak. Ride a damn camel back to Arabia, you idiot. <laughs> all right, yeah, we're going there, are we, yeah? All right, all right, all right. Are those the same camels carrying billions of dollars from Arabia to you guys. I don't see you complaining there. Prime Minister Narendra Modi broke the protocol by hugging the Saudi Crown Prince upon his arrival. We understand that there are investment opportunities worth more than a hundred billion dollars in India. And will your Prime Minister be borrowing the camel afterwards? Because let's face it, he's going to be visiting very soon. I know, yeah, please yeah, don't yeah. behave like a Pakistani. Thank you. Now, now listen to me. Yeah, I, mean, I have to, I have to try. I, I know it's to, unfortunate to, that you have to behave like a Pakistani, but try to desist from yeah. that. Whoa! That is a serious insult and a half mate. The next insult that we can expect from this bona fide genius is Hey man! Stop behaving like a human. Pathetic mate, yeah? At least work on your insults. Here we saw the line being crossed into religious insults. And I'm glad the other side didn't stoop to the level and left that job for me to do. Who the hell are you? Now I'm gonna end with this and this is what's very interesting. Sometimes when things are going well, we're very nationalistic people, yeah? God bless Malaysia. God bless Turkey mate, God bless Turkey. God bless Pakistan. God bless Pakistan. But whenever something goes wrong, that's when we realize our true identity is Islam because at the end of the day, that's the only thing that can truly help us because that's the only thing that is divine. Nationalistic identity is man-made. It's flawed. One person's interpretation of culture varies from the other. I mean, just look whenever weddings happen. You got two Pakistani families or two Bengali families, but there's still disputes because one interprets culture one way and the other the other way. The best and safest thing to do is use Islam as your yardstick, even in marriages, in relationships, yeah, even in your life. And if you do, then inshallah, God willing, you will not go wrong. Until next time, guys. Salamu <laughs> alaikum. <laughs> <laughs>